Hey guys, it's uh, John Morris here. Uh, for those that don't know, I uh, go out and take a lot of photographs uh, in different weather conditions, as well as try to capture images from uh, not just uh, the backyards of uh, my own house, but I tr love to go out to adventuring and use my snowshoes um, to basically get out and uh, check out uh, our, our beautiful province and capture images of uh, what's not always captured, what's not always being captured. So I love a good hike. Um, I wear good clothes, keeps me warm, but one thing I want to talk about today, not about the clothes, I want to talk about my snowshoes. Uh, these snowshoes I bought five years ago. Um, they're amazing. They, they've done an excellent job. They've kept well the whole time. Um, there's been literally uh, very minimal issues. Um, when I did have an issue with them, they're the JV, or GV snowshoe, sorry guys. They're the winter trail version. The men's winter trail version, they're 30 inches uh, 30 inches uh, in height, um, and it's a uh, it's a great snowshoe to have. Um, I want to tell you a bit about a story that uh, a situation I had with GV last year. Um, so first off, I bought these snowshoes online through a company in uh, Quebec, Canada. Uh, basically, uh, I wanted snowshoes so I can get out and hike around. So I bought these online. They're quite inexpensive. Um, you'd be shocked at the price. There, maybe you know. 150 bucks um, total with shipping, so they're a great deal. Um, and what happened was last year the uh, straps broke. Uh, this strap here and one of these stopped working, both coincidentally at the exact same time. Um, anyway, I called up GV and I said, you know, this is the issue I'm having with my snowshoes. Remember, I bought these five years ago, and uh, this is the issue I'm having with the snowshoes. Can like, what should I do about it? Can I send them to you guys to fix them? They're like, yeah, sure. Um, they have a lifetime warranty on their snowshoes. A lifetime warranty on their snowshoes. And these cost me 150 bucks. A lifetime warranty on something that's cost 150 bucks? Wow. So I was like, awesome. So they said, uh, even though I bought them in Quebec, remember that, they told me to take them to a local uh, outdoor shop. And so they said, take your sh snowshoes there. Um, they'll send them in, they'll get them replaced, they'll get them fixed in the whole nine yards. And I was like, okay. Even though I didn't buy my snowshoes at this shop, they said, yeah, do that. So I did. And uh, I took them into uh, a shop in Charlottetown, and um, they, uh, they took care of them. They sent them off to GV, and uh, GV uh, repaired them, no charge. Um, and what happened was... The moment I left the Sporting Intentions in Charlottetown, which is the sports shop that I took them to, Sporting Intentions actually gave me another pair of snowshoes. Yeah, another pair of snowshoes as loaners um, for me to have and me to use until these were repaired. So I was great with it. I was like, wow, I couldn't believe the service I was getting from both Sporting Intentions and GV. Um, so I shipped off our well, Sporting Intentions, shipped off the snowshoes, sent them out to uh, GV in Quebec or Ontario or wherever and I uh, got them repaired two weeks later they sent them back and uh, I have great snowshoes to use um, they're, they've been quite amazing actually um, remember guys this cost me 150 bucks so you're getting all this service for 150 bucks um, and that's not even talking about the quality of these snowshoes I've gone through a lot of snow with these um, for myself I don't always get to uh, take the easy route, um, take the path that's well traveled we'll say. A lot of times uh, you'll find me out on paths that don't exist. Um, so using these snowshoes in the, in the winter is a oh, big benefit. Um, and I can basically go on uh, trails that don't exist. Um, and these are very helpful with that. They're good for trails that uh, don't exist, creating your own trail, going adventuring or they're good for going on a trail that does exist and just reusing uh, basically a path that already exists. So uh, either way, they uh, work great in and I'm very proud of them and very happy with my purchase. Um, five years ago, they are 150 bucks. I'm not sure what they're selling for today, but again, they're the Winter Trail um, GV snowshoes. Um, these are 9 by 30, uh, 9 by 30, 30 inches. And uh, one piece of advice I want to give people is uh, when you're buying snowshoes, I made this mistake. When I bought these snowshoes, I bought for my weight. At the time, I was 210 pounds, uh, which 
a little bit more than that today, but I bought these snowshoes for the weight of 210 pounds. Um, there's specific weight levels that you buy, so many inches for so much weight. Anyway, I bought this specifically for my weight. And I made the mistake of doing that because something I didn't take into factor is, as you guys can see, I'm a photographer. And I have, uh, I usually carry a good amount of gear with me, such as the camera that this is being recording on and the tripod too. So that adds quite a bit of weight too. Um, so when you're buying snowshoes, don't buy for your weight class, buy for the next weight class. Then you have wiggle room there, and uh, if you're not, you're not carrying any gear, it's all the better. And if you are carrying gear, well, that's good too. So uh, that was the mistake I made. I figured I'd pass that tip along, but uh, overall I've been very happy with the GV, GV Winter Trail snowshoes. Um, they're an excellent snowshoe, uh, besides my mistake there at the first, but uh, other than that I'm not, uh, not sure what to say. If you have any questions, I'm going to post an Amazon link below that you can go and check out uh, different snowshoes. Um, and there will be uh, more information on uh, different spots. If you use Amazon, you can basically... Uh, you can go on Amazon, they'll do the price shopping for you, um, so it's good in that sense. And I'll post a link below with uh, some details in the Amazon link, as well as uh, some more information about, uh, about the snowshoes. So, uh, thanks for watching guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching and uh, happy snowshoeing, keep warm.